goals? Do you set goals? Well, if you're setting a goal for, this is what I'm gonna do today. Like when I go to see my occupational therapist, she has a site just for, my goal for today is ABC. It's just something to do that day to accomplish in a big picture. On the other hand, people set lifetime goals. And you've probably heard about this study done at Harvard, where the 3% of people who wrote down their goals actually achieved them. Well, I kind of have doubts about that because in my mind, in my experience, a goal is something that gives you a direction, keeps you on track. However, life happens every day. New things come into your world. You change every day. So if you're not the same person you were yesterday, your goal may be altered to who you are now aware, who you're becoming. And that, again, might change tomorrow or next week or next month. So the thing about goals is, what are they really for you? And as I said, I'll do a goal. I want to do this today. So I have a Franklin planner and I write down what I want to accomplish that day. It's not my long-term goals. As far as long-term goals, I'm leaving them open to the universe. Here's why. As I said before, you change every day. Who you are changes every day. What you desire to accomplish in your life for you, for others, for changing the world, that changes, that may change day to day to day. So if you're going to have something set and concrete to accomplish, you are limiting what the universe can do for you. You're putting a limit on what it can manifest for you. On the other hand, if you have more of a vague, I want to make this kind of difference in this many lives in this town or in nature. I want to make a difference for this particular species of animal or plants. That's vague enough that the universe can take into account what's actually going to nourish you, what's going to be in your highest and best interest that you don't know about because you don't know what's coming down the pike, what's happening tomorrow. And I'm having this really extremely interesting experience here. When I had first brain injury in 1996 because it got my visual center hit it really hard my eyes could see things not the quite they were not quite the way they actually were and i could control and move things like front to back and just really entertain myself with what's in the environment that i'm looking at and that's happening while I'm looking and talking to you right now because I'm outdoors and there are these massive, probably hundreds of years old trees. They're absolutely enormous. And they're set against this deep, deep, thick cloud because it was raining on and off all day. And so it's playing tricks because I'm looking at the camera is those cloud covers are moving up and back and everything that's around me is moving and it's a little on the distracting side. On the other hand, it's also very much on the exciting fun side. It's one of the gifts I got from that injury that took away my ability to see and interpret accurately. Life gets really exciting when the universe presents you with 
little side tracks to take. I used to call them detours. Now I know they're not detours at all. It's what the universe intended for me to know, to experience that in my awareness, let's just say it was never in my conscious awareness to go that way, to make those choices, to create that particular reality. And I feel like the clouds are coming in and they're gonna envelop me in a moment. And it's, I've never experienced anything like this. So when you allow the universe to create for you and you put out what you want your big picture life to be without all the details and most definitely not how you're gonna get there because that's not your job. That's the job of the universe. Let the universe surprise you and it will surprise you by leading you toward the world and the life that is in your highest and your best interest. And you don't even know it yet, but you will when you follow the clues and when you step in the direction you're being guided. Your guides and your angels and the universe are non-stop guiding you, nourishing you. And when you discover how to recognize the messages, to interpret them, to know what they mean for you, you'll have a meaningful step in that new direction that you didn't know was a direction you really are excited to experience. I have to keep looking up at the clouds, otherwise I feel like everything's coming in around me. So what is in your world? What are you thinking you want to create for a goal? Remember, there's a difference between this is the goal I want to do today. Like if I'm doing Tabata or I'm doing high intensity training workouts, I know which workout I want to accomplish that day. That's a goal for a day. But for a long-term goal, it's a whole lot more vague for me. I know what I want to accomplish with my life and what I feel my mission is here in this lifetime. And I know it's up to the universe to show me how to get there and it does that with direction very clear direction that I hear, that I feel in my heart. And when you pay attention to your heart, you will be able to interpret, to recognize all those messages, because they're coming nonstop, nonstop. Thank you for joining me here today for Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. Remember to join our Facebook group, ask questions, tell me where you're watching from or listening from. I want to know who's here and I want to know what you want to explore because 99% of the world is imperceptible to our five senses. So what do you want to know about that maybe I haven't talked about yet? Or maybe I have, but you want to know more. Those are the kinds of questions I get on this website. And if you look in the show notes, you'll also see the link to our show page where you can listen to or watch any of our more than 100 episodes. And I very much appreciate your leaving a review. Here's why it's helpful to leave a review. It's not to say, hey, I like this show and I like this episode because I hadn't thought about ABC. But what if a review is so a friend of yours or somebody who you don't know who's like you is trying to decide if this show is something you're interested in. That's the purpose of 
leaving a review so somebody can tell without having to watch a whole bunch of episodes, am I really interested? So just tell them what you're getting out of it, why you like to be here. I really appreciate that, but more than I appreciate it, those people who are looking for a new podcast don't appreciate it. And remember that Audible has a special 30-day free trial for you where you can choose the audiobook of your choice. And for 30 days, you can look at that site. A lot of amazing, fun stuff in there. I spend time in Audible every single day because I have lots of books because I can look at other books and programs and courses and special podcasts for free. 30 days, the link for you to grab your free trial is in the show notes. What are you going to do today in terms of setting a goal, a local? Today I'm going to do it goal. Go ahead down below, share it with us so we can cheer you on, so we can support you in it. And your support brings great guests that keep the show going, and it's easy to do that over patreon.com forward slash A-L-I-T-L-C, which also allows you to join me every month for a live video full participation get-together. Remember, most important thing to do is enjoy. That's capital I-N. Capital J O Y. Every moment. Because nothing in your life is happening outside. Those birds we hear, we're not hearing them outside of us. We're hearing them in our mind and brain. We're not seeing, I'm not seeing the clouds doing weirdnesses outside of me. That's happening back here in my mind and brain. I look forward to seeing you here next time.